This is the second tutorial on using Duplicator. The first one was about making the local site and then uploading the package you created in Duplicator to create a new online website. I am now online at Easy Web Design Tutorials. In the back end, Duplicator is installed. I've already also created a package through Duplicator. What I want to do now, I want to take this offline make modifications to it. As you see, I've already done so already. So I need to then download installer and then that package. Because as I said, I want to make some modifications, bigger modifications to the site and I don't want to do this online uh, to make it visible. There are various ways to not have them visible online, but I just prefer to take it offline and then make the modifications then either pack up the site and place it online again or just upload the new theme and then the customizations I've created to my existing site. So the installer it has been downloaded. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go and find the htdocs folder which I have placed in my sidebar. MAMP has already been installed and I've been using MAMP to create various local offline sites. So I'm going to create the offline site then for Easy Web Design Tutorials. And I'm going to then put the installer file into it and also the package which I just downloaded. And usually when there's some big modifications and uh, or updates I need to do, I'll also create a package and just download it and keep it as a backup. Okay, so we have the installer file right here and we have the zipped whole duplicator uh, packed site inside Easy Web, uh, Easy Web Design Tutorials inside htdocs. Okay, and I also opened MAMP. I've turned on the servers. And I can open up the start page as well here. And what I need to do now to create an offline site, I need to create a new database. So I'll go to PHP my admin. I'll either use one of these existing and mention that in the install or create a new database. So I'll write something here and then create a new database right here and it will be placed in the list. And I already have an easy uh, test database which I'll be using. So I'll take away this part and this leads then directly to the htdocs folder. So open up easy web design tutorials and I'll click on installer so user is root password root if you have not then done this before it will be a lot better for you if you do the other tutorial where you create a local site and upload it so this uh, tutorial is going a lot quicker than the other one easy tests and I can test the connection and it says install error because EasyTest has 60 tables and I have used it already. So I'll click Table Removal, test again, and it works fine. And I need to click this buck right here and then run deployment. Okay. It's now installing the zip package created with a duplicator. And as you see, this is Easy Web Design Tutorials, and now you can see it's been it's been unzipped with all the files it needs. I can choose to create a new admin account if I want, but I'll just use the existing I have, and I'm going to do a run update. So I can just do right away. I can just do one of these if I want to. I'll just do uh, delete installer files.
and what happens at the same time it's going to go into the back end of my site and you can see it, it says duplicate here and it's cleaned up the various files it needs to be cleaned up here and this is then the site offline and I have now taken the easy web design tutorials which was online and I have now taken it offline because what I want to do and is install a new theme which I have here on my desktop so I'll do upload and I need to find the correct file then. here's the PSD I don't want to install the PSD I want to install the zip file you can do this in two ways either just put it right here or I can unzip it and just place it inside content and plugins folder so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to show that quickly and then I'm going to end the tutorial here in just a few moments. Inside VP content, themes and here is the theme folder. Here's the magazine zip, unzip it and I'm just going to place it right in there. I'll go back into themes or manage themes and here is the magazine theme that I want to install and modify. So I can take the look from my Easy Web Design tutorials and put that over into Magazine because Magazine is a little bit more advanced and does a lot more options to it than my existing Easy Web Design tutorials. So this is what I'm going to do offline and I might just pack it together and just put it online using Duplicator, installing the site on top of the existing site or I might just take the modifications and upload those to the existing site that I have. But now you've seen how easy it is to take an online site and install it locally on your own desktop, your own computer.